We have a huge update coming out of Washington, D.C. concerning Trump and the speaker position. Trump has said already he's willing to be the next speaker of the House. And now Nancy Pelosi has been booted out of her office to make room for Trump. Let's get into it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ANN American News Network. I'm your host, Vlad. Before we get into these developments, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, and they are Midas Gold Group. They are a veteran Christian family owned gold, silver, and precious stone IRA company. They have been in business since the 70s with customers in all 50 states, also in Canada and worldwide. Midas Gold Group is the only IRA gold silver and precious stone IRA company in America that is backed by Sebastian Gorka. You can contact them at MidasGoldGroup.com or give them a call at 480-360-3000. Mention Vlad from American News Network for a bunch of free silver. Their information is down in the description. Go contact them. I'm protecting my money. You should too because Bidenomics is here. And it's all bad. Let's get into it. Let's get right into my notes here, ladies and gentlemen. So Kevin McCarthy has been booted as Speaker of the House. This is the first time that this has ever happened in American politics history. Kevin McCarthy went behind the backs of Republicans and made ba a backdoor deal with the Democrats to keep the government open and sent money to Ukraine. Many Republicans got upset because McCarthy promised to work on the budget, secure the border, and no more money for Ukraine. Well, McCarthy broke his promises and didn't do any of those things and sent another $24 million to Ukraine just three days after saying not a penny more. Another thing that we have found out why McCarthy was so arrogant and cocky when he knew that Matt, Matt Gates is going to bring a vote to, to the House where he tweeted out, bring it on. So apparently the deal that he made last Saturday with, de with the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi called him and said, hey, keep the government open, send money to Ukraine. And if Matt Gates actually goes through with it and tries to remove you from Speaker, the Democrats, we will make sure you have enough votes to stay in power. He got played. Not a single Democrat voted to keep him in power. So they used his position to get what they want. They played him and then they got rid of him. You can't be a speaker if you're played that easily. Now, this is where the interesting stuff is starting. Today, the interim House Speaker Representative Patrick McHenry started cleaning house. His very first order was to Nancy Pelosi. He told her to pack up all her stuff and get out. She's had an office in the hallway as close to Congressional Hall as she possibly could get. And McHenry told her, why are you there? You are no longer speaker. And haven't been speaker in almost an entire year. So Pelosi was told that by Wednesday of next week, she needs to pack all her stuff and get out of Congress. I also have that question. She's not a representative anymore. She, she's, she's not a speaker. But she was sitting very close to the speaker's office. Her office is one of the closest offices to Congress, to the speaker, to the people in charge. How did McCarthy allow this to happen and continue happening? He had the authority to kick her out. Obviously, we see by what um, Patrick McHenry is doing. The speaker, if the interim speaker could do this, so could the speaker. The House will be voting for the next Speaker of the House next Wednesday. Today, the Senate and the House went home for a seven-day vacation because, you know, they love vacations like Joe Biden. It's not like we are on the brink of World War III, and it's not like we're $33, $33 trillion in debt. And, you know, our border is totally secure. So they're all going on a vacation. 
But when they get back, they will be voting for the next Speaker of the House. And many have already put their name in the hat, like Jim Jordan, Donalds, and a few others. But one that no one saw trying to become Speaker is Donald J. Trump. When the Republicans won the House of Representatives and they were choosing, they were voting for a Speaker. Lauren Boebert, Gates, Donalds, they all brought up Trump's name, but Trump came out and publicly said, no, McCarthy needs to be Speaker. This time around, he didn't even tell them not to try to get him out. He did send a truth social saying, hey, the Republicans shouldn't be fighting amongst each other. But he never said, hey, Kevin McCarthy deserves to remain Speaker. And now, I mean, just go on his truth social. He posted an AI-generated picture of him as the Speaker with the gavel. He's retruthing what other pundits are saying, how it would benefit him to be Speaker. And Trump's latest update is this. He said, I am willing to come on board for 100 days to be the Speaker of the House for 100 days starting this coming Wednesday and for a full 100 days to send out indictment, um, not indictments, but to send out subpoenas, put pressure on Biden when it comes to impeachment, put pressure on the Biden administration over the border, over Ukraine spending, and to try and build a budget. There is not, a, not even one downside of Trump being speaker. I personally think he should be speaker until he wins the presidency November 5th of 2024. But this is the update that I got for you guys now. Let me know down below in the comments. Do you think Trump should be speaker or should he wait until he wins the next presidency on November 5th of 2024? For let me know. I want to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for to all my supporters, to everyone who prays for me, who sticks around with me. Patriots, you know I love you. Got more big updates coming up for you in the next few weeks and days. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification so you are notified every time I upload. Midas Gold Group, their info is in the description. Contact them. God bless you. Trump 2024 or sooner.